it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and we have a fun hop for you today. So Rebecca has reached a thousand subbies, which is awesome. So we are scrap lifting her. So um, as you heard earlier this week, I am trying to get through my daydream collection. So when I saw this layout of hers, I was like, that's perfect. She used Daydream. I am going to scrap lift this one. So I don't believe that she fussy cut out her wreath, but I did take the time and fussy cut it out. So it's still um, the exact same paper. Um, since she didn't fussy cut hers out, she has a white background. Um, but I decided that this is going to kind of be a companion page to the one earlier this week. Um, so I am going to back it on that. Uh, it's the exact same paper from the other one. It's the kind of corally with hearts on it. And then since I had this little piece left from the wreath, I decided I would just back it with um, that as well. So Definitely got full use of um, that background paper there. So I'm going to put that on. I decided not to rough up the edges like I normally do because um, everything was just going to be very clean. So when I look at this layout, I it just, it's clean to me. So I am going to pop up my wreath with some fun foam. No, this is not fun foam. This is not from Walmart. This is the Big Mama foam tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, and it is awesome. Um, I It does like bend. It bends better if you take the backing off first. Um, and it can go around a circle, no problem. Um, but some of the areas got like a little thin. So I had to like skip. So I just trimmed that off like that and voila I am going to have a popped up frame so I'm going to take that backing off I'm going to center it as best as my eyeball will let me and I'm going to try and make sure that I don't cover up any of the florals in the wreath the big the big florals because obviously there are florals all over the wreath so um but the big clusters, I want those to show. And so that's why you see me kind of turning it. I'm going to put my photo in um, the same area. So she has two photos. Um, I only have one. And this is kind of a fun photo. It was like my attempt with a selfie with my eyes shut. <laughs> Um, so for our date night, uh, Julianne decided that, um, she wanted to pick out my outfit. She wanted to do my hair. She wanted to do my makeup. So that was kind of fun. So this is just kind of a selfie of her doing my makeup, which I don't wear makeup. <laughs> so the fact that I was even putting on makeup, it was probably better that she put it on. Um, so from the center part of that wreath, um, I am going to trim out a mat for my photo with my scissors. I know, so proud, so proud. And then I am going to take some light blue tissue paper and I am going to mat it again. So there is a double full mat, one with tissue paper, one with pattern paper. And then I am going to decide how far into the wreath or out of the wreath um, it is going to go. So initially I thought I wanted it pretty far out of the wreath. You can see right there. And then I was going to put this title because I don't have the title she had. Um, I was going to put this title um, in the middle just like she did. And then I was also going to take some of the die clip die cut florals and scatter them about because um, she did that as well. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. I do grab one of the little houses because we're in my tiny little bathroom. I think my bathroom's like a six by 
five. It's, it's so tiny. I mean, so tiny it has to have like a corner sink because um, that's how small it is. And it has a stand-up shower and a toilet. I know, it's crazy. Um, but so, yep, that is our little tiny bathroom. And so I thought the house was appropriate. And I wanted to get one of those super awesome corduroy um, hearts on there. And this, this corduroy, because it's green, totally makes me think of the corduroy book. I loved to read that book to my kids when I was little. That was like one of my favorite books. Um, what is your favorite little kid books? Like there's so many. Um, but yes, I, I loved corduroy and that's totally what this heart makes me think of. Um, total side note. So I've decided I'm going to do two clusters on my photo. I'm going to do one down in the right bottom hand corner of the picture and one in the upper left because there's, there's a lot of, it's not really empty space because one is like her big ginormous sweatshirt. Um, but it's just like a huge pop of color that I don't need there. And then the other one has like the vent and the shower and that type of thing. So I add two little banners. One says having fun. One has a little heart on it. And this is where I decide that I'm not sure I liked the Happy Days title. So instead of going through anything else that I had, I decided to go ahead and just take the shine on from the sticker sheet. And I did play with putting it in the center where uh, Rebecca had hers, but ultimately I am going to just kind of stick it up in that upper left hand corner. So even though there is a wreath, there is definitely a, a diagonal design to this layout. And yay, I got the two other moths in the, this collection um, on a page. So now I am moth free. <laughs> <laughs> I also added a flare that says, oh, my stars, a couple of tiny word um, stickers. One says beautiful, one says sweetheart, and one says the good life. And at this point, I am just going to start gluing everything down. Now, I did add some foam adhesive to the back of my photo because I didn't want it to like slide downhill into the center of the page. I wanted it to be at the same height as uh, the wreath. And then I am going to finish it off with, I think just one of those hearts. And um, I am going to bring in some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I am going to use the Dance It Out sequins. And the blue in this sequin mix is like the exact blue in this collection. So um, I am going to take my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. I am going to plop down a few um, dollops of glue, use my Crystal Katana, and plop them all down. So of course, they're scattered throughout the wreath, just like Rebecca did. Um, and then the two little moths get some sequin trails. So that is my layout. Um, in the description box below, of course, Rebecca's uh, link will be there. Um, I think she might be having a giveaway as well. And there will be links to everybody who is playing along um, with the hop. So make sure you don't only just check out Rebecca and give her some love, but make sure you give some love to everybody else who is playing along. And these are my close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. Um, and yeah, another layout with my Coco Vanilla Daydream. Yay! Thank you, Rebecca, for the inspiration. And remember to wear your crown, and I'll see you later. Bye!